Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are all about a very minimal look. And when I say minimal, I mean concealer, setting powder, and bronzer, and that is it. Wait, I just lied because I'm gonna throw on a lip gloss. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of mascara and an eye pencil, but concealer, setting powder, and bronzer are the main products that we're gonna be using in today's video. So if you love makeup, but you don't like to wear that much makeup and you want something that's quick, easy beginner friendly this is the look for you and i also pulled out all black owned brands everything that we are applying on the face is black owned so let's go okay so before we apply the concealer the setting powder and the bronzer we need to at least prep our skin so i'm gonna go in with my fenty primers i like to use both of these together i like to use a hydrating one around the perimeter of my face and the mattifying one on the center of my face so starting out with the hydrating we're just gonna put it around the perimeter now honestly you do not have to do this i'm just i don't know i just like using both of them um and the mattifying one is actually my favorite out of all of the ones that they have but i still like to have a little bit of hydration on my skin you know so yeah i'm putting the matte one on the center so if you're new, I have oily combination skin. I get really, really, really oily in this area. So I always like to try to at least, what is that? I always like to try to at least use a matte primer on the center, on my T-zone. Okay, now that that is done, typically I will do my brows last when I'm doing this type of look because um, I just don't clean my brows up with the concealer if I am doing my simple, easy, no makeup makeup looks. But honestly, I want to just, you know, get my brows looking really, really good. So I'm going to do my brows first. And I use the minted brow pencil in the shade, um, I always forget, brow or later. Okay, now that I clean my brows up, now it's time to go ahead and go into the concealer. I pulled out three concealers out of my collection. I have the Beauty Bakery 3-in-1 Concealer. This is shade Sugar Daddy. I have my Fenty Concealer in the shade 420. And then I have the Pat McGrath Concealer in the shade 4, um, no, I'm sorry, 23. Now, what I like to do if I am just going to wear concealer is place the concealer in the areas that I need coverage the most. So for instance, you guys can see um, some dark spots around my chin, um, under my eyes, on my eyelid, just anywhere that is uneven or anywhere on the face that has dark spots, discoloration. Um, you can definitely use a concealer for that if you don't want to use a foundation. So 420 in the Fenty Concealer is my perfect, perfect, perfect shade as a foundation also because I have tried this out as a foundation and not just as a, you know, concealer. I do have the video already up on my channel if y'all want to see it. So I'm pretty much just placing it in the areas that need coverage. So a little bit on my forehead and then I'm going to place it on my eyelids. And so not everywhere. I'll place a little on my nose right in there and then right there. And then I'm going to blend it out. Now, if you want more coverage, I'd say go in with a color corrector and then go on top of that with the concealer. But that's only if, you know, if you want extra coverage, if you feel like you need that extra coverage. But I'm just tapping it in the areas that I applied it, kind of blending it out so it can look a little even. See how perfect that shade is for me as like a foundation instead of only as a concealer. I'm just gonna tap it around my nose and also blend my eyelids because I did have on concealer under my brows. I'm just gonna make sure that all of that is blended. And then a little on my forehead where I placed a drop of that concealer. Just tap it in. Make sure you blend it in good because sometimes concealers like you can definitely see where you place the concealer. So make sure 
if you are using a concealer instead of a foundation, make sure that you get a shade that's pretty much the same color as your foundations. So yeah, this is how it looks blended out. And I didn't take it all, like I didn't take my sponge all over my face. You can see right here where the concealer kind of shows. I'm just gonna take the other end of the sponge where there's no product and just blend those edges. So that way you won't really see it where I placed that concealer or where I started blending it. But yeah, I didn't take the um, sponge all over my face. I just blended out the patches where I applied the concealer and that is it. Like, I mean, you, you don't have to do this. If you want to apply it all over your face, you can, but this is just how I do it. I just put it in the areas that I need the coverage and then leave the rest of my face alone. So this is how it looks with just concealer. Just concealer, girl. Over here, I could have applied some product, but honestly, I don't really care about this area because I do have a little darkness right there. But once we go in with the bronzer, you're not going to really tell. But yeah, so that's how my face looks with just the concealer. Um, now I'll go in with another concealer and I was, the reason why I pulled out three concealers in total because I honestly didn't know which one I wanted to use as my under eye concealer. I love the Pat McGrath because it gives me great coverage and it just looks so pretty on the skin and I also like the Beauty Bakery one too, but between the two, it's kind of hard to choose. Pat actually gives me more coverage than a Beauty Bakery, so we're just going to go with Pat. If y'all want to see um, me use Beauty Bakery, I have other videos that I've already used that concealer in. I'm just going to go in with Pat McGrath. Another reason why I would um, choose Pat over the Beauty Bakery is because you don't need a lot of this product. Like I feel like I still use a lot, but a little bit of this concealer goes a long, long way. Like you can get away with just adding dots like that. but. I just like to apply concealer like this, take it down the side of my nose like that, and then a little on my chin. So I'll usually apply it the way I do it anyway. Like there's no different with, um, so just take it in all the areas that I usually do it. And then just take my sponge and blend it out. Now the setting powder, I pulled out my Pat McGrath under eye setting powder and I also pulled out Fenty setting powder in the shade Nutmeg. This is gonna be the one that I'm gonna set my entire face with. And then I also pulled out the Beauty Bakery setting powder. This is their translucent. I wanna use Pat McGrath first because um, I like how this sets my concealer and then sometimes I like to go in on top of it with a like a setting powder that's a little bit lighter. So that's why I pulled out the um, the Beauty Bakery concealer. So let's go in with Pat. I don't know how mine broke. If y'all watched my video that I uploaded on Sunday, I was showing you guys how, um, I did a tutorial, but it was in front of my window and I called it, um, it's called What Makeup Looks Like in Person because I didn't have, like I wasn't filming with my equipment. <laughs> so y'all could really see how makeup would look like natural lighting. If y'all wanna see that, I'll have that video linked down below. But yeah, I'm just taking Pat McGrath and just pressing it in the areas that I applied my concealer. So next what I like to do is take another powder and this is where I go in everywhere else on the face that I did not set. So pretty much the perimeter of my face. I'm gonna take the Fenty Nutmeg setting powder. And this is what the color looks like. Come on, there we go. So I'm not gonna tilt it over too much, but I think this is a good shade for just an all over setting powder for me. Now, typically I don't use a loose setting powder to set my face. I rather use a pressed setting powder, but I don't have, I don't think I have, do I have? 
I don't think I have, but yeah, I don't have a pressed powder that's black owned in my collection. I don't think I do. I'll have to double check. But this was the first one that came to mind. So um, I'm gonna take some of that product off because I got a little bit too much on the brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk large powder brush, by the way. They changed, um, I'm just tapping it all over my face like this. But yeah, they changed the brush. It's the same brush, but now it's like all black. It's not gold and black anymore. And I think that's why um, a lot of people always ask me what type of brush it is because they can't find it on Target. It's because they changed the, um, the way the brush looks, but it's the same brush. So I'm just gonna tap it around my face. But yeah, the reason why I don't like to use press setting powder, uh, yeah, press, no, loose setting powders all over my face because it, it, it's so messy. So I'd rather swirl my brush around in a press powder than a loose setting powder. But now my face is completely set. I like to go, I personally <laughs> like to go back into my brows and just um, kind of feather them out right here. Just make them blend into my skin a little bit. And by doing this, the foundation, the powders, whatever is on my face right now kind of goes, it kind of blends into the brows. So that's um, how you can kind of get that faded look right there. Okay, so now that we've already applied our concealer, we've already applied our setting powder, now let's go into the bronzer. So I wanted to pull out both of my Fenty bronzers. I use Coco Naughty and I also use Mocha Mommy. Both of these work perfectly for me. It just all depends on how much of a bronzed look that I want. So Mocha Mommy is obviously deeper than Coco Naughty. Let me show them side by side. I know a lot of you already, <laughs> by now y'all should know what these um, bronzers look like, but Mocha Mommy, you can see that it is obviously deeper. It's obviously warmer than Coco Naughty. This is a shade that I would use, for instance, like right now. So if I want that everyday, no makeup makeup look, I would use Coco Naughty. And if I want a really, really, really bronzed, like sun-kissed look, I would use Mocha Mommy. So um, I'm actually going to use Mocha Mommy today because since we're just focusing on concealer, setting powder, and bronzer, I want to have a really pretty warm bronzed look, but I'm still going to go in with Coco Naughty. I'll show you guys what I do with Coco Naughty in a few minutes. So let me find a brush. All right, this will do for now. This is my Sephora powder brush. Ooh, it needs to be clean, but it's okay. We're just gonna go in with Mocha Mommy. I'm gonna take a little bit on the side. I like to kind of pinch it a little bit first before I go ahead and start blending. And then just kind of buff it in. And then take it up on my forehead. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Since we're not using blush, yeah, that's why. <laughs> That's another reason why I wanted to use Mocha Mommy because I'm not using any blush. And since Mocha Mommy is pretty warm, it can kind of substitute as a blush. So I place it in the areas that I apply my bronzer. So y'all can see here that around the temples of my forehead and then also right in here. And I also kind of go in the area that I, apply, um, that I apply my blush. So right at the tips, top of my cheek, so kind of pulling that bronzer up a little bit more, more than I would usually do because we're not using a blush today. This is my blush. So this is how my face looks. You can see how warm it is, how just sun-kissed and glowy it looks with that bronzer. Now I use Coco Naughty on the sides of my nose and I don't use the other one on the sides because um, it's too warm and I always like to do this because I like to kind of contour my nose I just don't like to use a bronzer that's too warm to do that and the way I contour my nose is I just take a little bit of Coco Naughty on this um, little brush and I start right here where my brow is and kind of curve it like in a little C shape I got this technique from Jackie 
you just curve it like this and kind of lightly bring it down. Not all the way though. I just kind of pull it like that, but not to put too much product in here. So most of the product is right here where it makes that C shape. Next thing that I like to do is go in with another powder, which a lot of you already know. I feel like a lot of you know my makeup routine, but I have a lot of you that are new, but I always like to go, um, but I always like to go in again with a press, not a press, but a loose setting powder. This is the Beauty Bakery translucent powder. And this is where I like to take it down the side of my nose because this is only if I'm doing anything with my eyes because I feel like I spend a lot of time doing my eyes even though this is going to be a really quick look. But it is so, so hot in my room with all of my filming lights. So I always try to at least um, put the powder. Ooh, it just went everywhere. I try to at least put the powder in the area where I get sweaty and oily really really fast so right here on the sides of my nose so i'm gonna let this sit especially like right in here where it creases i'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and once i sweep this powder away like i kind of sweep it over under my eyes it kind of gives me more of a brightened under eye which is another reason why i like to use a little bit of a lighter powder for this but now let's move on to the eyes and with the eyes we are going to be taking the bronzers once again so you can use bronzers on your face you can use bronzers on your eyes however you want to use a bronzer you could do that so um, i'm going to take coco naughty instead of mocha mommy because mocha mommy i honestly don't want a deep warm eye today so i'm just going to take mocha mommy instead and I am going to use, I'm going to take a clean brush for this. I need to wash all of my blending brushes. But this is my Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease Brush number 38. And have I even used this before? It needs to be worn in. Let me kind of wear it in some. I just like to take it like this. I don't think I've, I think I have a couple of these. I think this is one of the new ones. Let me just. Press it into my hand just to kind of feather out the bristles. I don't recommend doing this. This is just what I do, but I would not recommend doing that because I feel like it could damage your brush, but it's what I do. So, <laughs> but I don't want to recommend y'all do it. So anyway, I'm going to take the bronzer and just place it all over the lid. Just like that. And then once you put it all over the lid, you can start blending into the crease and then pulling it up towards your arch. Just like that. And that's it. That is all I would do on the eyes with bronzer. It is so, so easy. Um, the video that I filmed, well, that I uploaded the Fenty Slip Shine video, a lot of you were asking me what was on my eyes and that was a bronzer. I did the same exact thing that I just did. So um, that bronzer was the Makeup Revolution bronzer in the shade Dark. So obviously that one was darker, but I did the same exact thing as I just did in that look, like with that look in that video. So anywho, now let me brush this powder off my face. Brush it under my eyes a little bit and then I'm gonna take that little brush that I used to, con um, to contour my nose earlier just kind of go over it a little bit not too much just to give me a slight shadow right there and then taking the, br uh, the powder brush one more time and just tapping over it so it won't look too harsh I feel like I'm doing a lot of steps for this to be a very minimal look but this is it's so much faster when I'm not talking. So just imagine doing this without having to explain everything that you're doing. So I promise you, this is like it's a really, really, really fast um, look, but I'm talking. So um, now, um, now the eyes, I'm going to go in with the mascara. I'm not going to put on any eyeliner. I'm not going to put on any lashes. 
we're just going to use a mascara. This is the Fenty mascara. Um, it's the full frontal mascara. So I'm going to coat my bottom and top lashes with this. So now that we have the mascara on, I have such tiny baby lashes, but I like I just like how simple this looks. Even though my lashes are really short, I still really like the overall look. So the very, very last step is the lips. And I pulled out a lip liner and also a lip gloss. The lip liner that I have is Minted Cosmetics in the shade Nude. And I also pulled out the Pat McGrath gloss in the shade Faux Real. This is the gloss that I have been wearing in a, a lot of recent videos. I wanna say all of my recent ones, but it's, it's been the one that I have reached for the most recently. So I'm going to start out with applying the lip liner. And I pulled out a lip liner that's actually really close to my natural lip color. Let me swatch it on my hand so y'all can see it. So it's really, really close to the natural, um, my natural lip color. And I wanted to do this because I didn't want to really change up the lip color too much. I want it to look really natural. So I'm just going to line the lips and this actually just kind of cancels out the dark parts of my lips because I do have really pigmented lips around the edges and then the center of my lips are really pink this just pretty much cancels out the dark the darkness okay now going in with my Pat McGrath gloss in the shade faux real this is a true nude gloss it has easily become one of my favorites. But yeah, this is how it looks. It's very soft, very simple, very natural looking, and it is the perfect makeup look for those of you who don't wanna put on too much makeup. So you still have makeup on, but it's not too much. It's not too bright, it's not too dark. It's pretty much the perfect nude makeup look. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it helped any of you who are wanting to go for that really soft, natural, everyday look, but you still wanna look like you have on, like you still wanna look done up, but you don't wanna look too like it's like, you know, you don't want to lock you have on too much. But I hope it helped. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.